Chiefs captain Idumelen Kune says that he can play beyond this coming season. As we know that last season his contract was coming to an end and KZ Chiefs management decided to extend for him for another year. And we know that he is kept at KZ Chiefs because he's being prepared to take the role of a goalkeeper coach when he retires. He's a Chiefs captain goalkeeper Itumilen Kune has suggested that is not a foregone conclusion that he will retire at the end of the 2023-24 season and open up on the return of his longtime goalkeeping mentor Reina Dinkleka. Chiefs has extended Kune's contract which expired last season by one more year and they announced it as his last contract as a player at the club. The Bafana Bafana goalkeeper is being prepared to transition into the role of a goalkeeper coach and is also a mark to have an ambassadoral role working with the marketing division at the club. Kone says he's grateful for being given one more season and he still respects the game as he's still working with his personal trainer ahead of the 2023-24 season which marks his 20th campaign since being promoted from the development ranks at Chiefs in 2004. It's always pleasing when a 36 year old like me is still respecting the game because this game is the one that has changed my life Kune said on ENCA I'll be celebrating my 20th season with one club and I think it's a record in South African football I'm very pleased that the chairman and the board of the directors at KZ Chiefs were willing to give me another year to play football the glamour boys is announced in the off season that they will come back their former goalkeeper coach Dinkelekam who returned as a strategic advisor in the goalkeeping department. The better stop native continued and said it's a great opportunity for him to work with the German who was instrumental in launching his career and honoring his girls as he prepares to become a goalkeeper coach too. Kune also suggested that it will be up to him whether he retires or not after the upcoming campaign given the investment he has made in himself. If it happens that I retire come in the end of the season, which it will depend on myself, the investment that I made to myself and if I can continue playing for yet another season, obviously I'll be learning a lot from him, Kune said, so that when I transition from being a goalkeeper or being a goalkeeper coach, at least I know I have all the tools and I have all the knowledge. So for him to be back in South Africa to mentor us, I think it's a great opportunity for us to learn a lot from him yes I've enjoyed my football career under him he added and just getting the latest on what is happening with Kama Biliati. It seems like he was told um, to leave Kaiser um, Chiefs as early in the mid of uh, July. That is why when the month end came, he was not seen at the pitch because already he was instructed that he must leave. Uh, as widely reported across local media, a 33 year old Zimbabwean contract with the Glamour Boys ended on June 18. According to the club's latest statement, Billiard has been sent an offer but just won't respond yet. Following the expiry of attacking midfielder Kama Billiard's Casey Chiefs contract on 30 June 2023, the club tabled a new offer for the Zimbabwean marksman to remain with Amakosi. However, to date, the player has not responded responded to the offer or any attempts to contact him. Billiard was last seen at Kaiser Chiefs Village on 29 June and has not answered any of the calls made or messages sent to him by the club. The team is currently in the camp with all the players at Billiard who is also expected to be there with his teammates and failed to show up and is currently nowhere to be found. The note concluded. Williard Katande says Karma must leave. Meanwhile, Billiard's former team at Naturena and the national side, Katande believes both parties should start to move on. Karma is my boy and my boy is a good boy. Obviously, they, Billiard and Chiefs, didn't reach an agreement over a new contract. I know both sides and I understand both sides, Katande told Soweten. 
For the team, it's a matter of trying to move in the direction where they prioritize young players and for Billiard, he's trying to look after himself because now there's a few years left before retiring. I feel like the two parties had a good journey and obviously every journey will get to its destination. So I think this is the final destination for both sides. I wish both sides had all the best going forward. It's been a good ride for Karma to be there for five years and the club looked after him him for all these years that and concluded so far what we know is that him Milan Kuna is part of uh, being the captain at case chips uh, but seems like he's more than that hmm we don't know what is happening or is he part of the technical team because it shows that uh, already he knows his future he knows uh, his next move he knows that uh, uh, after this uh, the contract ends uh, where is he going and he knows that uh, he will just be there at case chips uh, like uh, the former players about atazwane about to Takumas, who remain at chips uh, even after being the players uh, so it seems like uh, Kune from 2004 was groomed by Casey Chips and even at the end, at the peak of his career, it shows that when it ends, he will still remain, he will still remain with Casey Chips. Then the issue of um, Kamabiliate, it is reported that Casey Chips wanted to cut his salary with over 60% and which was reported that Kama was the most paid player in the PSL league. So it means that now he will move from what he's getting and get like 40% because you remember that um, uh, the season that he was supposed to play, he was uh, stricken with injuries and then uh, he was, had to be off the bench and not to play and this thing like made him not participate in the development of case chiefs which made um, the, 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 the technical team or the management to say that they don't see his contribution in terms of what he was uh, at Mamelo de Sundowns. So there was an impact that he has made on Mamelo de Sundowns but when it comes to case chiefs he was like the man who was most uh, injured in most of the time so now they feel as if ah, they are paying him too much they have to to cut him uh, since now he's no longer contributing that much it shows that karma did not did not receive this news uh, quite very well like what no i wonder i'm no longer coming i'm not responding uh they are just uh, we are not in terms of agreement they will see what is next for him so we are still waiting to see what is next for him what will be his next move as Kaiser Chiefs have declared that uh, whatever decision that he has taken they will support him and they will move forward um, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and you have to subscribe to our channel so that you'll be getting the latest of what is happening in the world of football